what's up? So what's up guys? I've been traveling a lot recently. That's why I haven't made that many videos. I was just in New York and now I'm back in LA. I'm happy to be home and I'm excited to start like grinding out videos again and stuff. Today's video is gonna be the one that I talked about in the last video about how to composite something in a photo. Like if I wanted to throw a moon on a picture or something like I said if the video got 500 likes I would make that video and it got a lot more again. You guys have been insane with the support recently. It's amazing to see like my channel grow and see the hard work I've put in like start slowly paying off. So that's awesome. I hope you keep enjoying these videos because I have a lot of fun making them. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to put a moon in a picture. I used this picture that I took like last month. It actually is pretty good by itself. Like I would post this by itself, but I figured like it should have like some kind of dramatic effect somewhere in it just to make it like a little bit better. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in crescent if I know how to spell crescent moon and when it comes to these moon photos you want to find any of them that have a black background I'm just gonna use this one it looks pretty nice so what I'm gonna do is save image crescent moon PS for Photoshop so I have the file saved right here I'm gonna go back into Photoshop and then find the crescent moon file it's in my downloads and just drag it in so now that I have the layer dragged in I'm gonna hit control T and then make it a little smaller so that it can be the size that I want it to be for the picture. I think that's a pretty good size. And then also I want to drag it over to the spot in the picture that I want it to be in. So I think up here is pretty good. Also, just as a side note, when you like use moons in pictures, you want to, if you want to make them look more realistic, you want to have them facing towards the sun. So I just made this one like point down this way because the sun was setting over here. That just makes it look better and more realistic so I'm going to hit the check mark and then bam it's there. So now that the moon's in the spot that you want it to be, you want to go over to the right here where it says normal. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to select this and turn the moon into a screen layer. You hit the, the word screen and then look. It makes the black part of it go away. So basically here, what you're left with is just the moon outline and then nothing else. That's why when I got the picture of the moon, I wanted something that was surrounded by just black so that I could just change it to a screen layer and then it would go away. Now it almost looks pretty much done, but what I like doing is I like to make it look even more realistic. Right now it looks a little bit too bright in terms of where it is in the sky. I think it's a little bit too bright. So I'll just make the opacity a little bit lower and you can kind of see the moon is starting to fade a little bit. Don't drag it down too far. I think I'm gonna have it at about 83 is pretty good. I'm gonna keep it there. Just to show you the difference, this is what it's like at 100 versus 83. I like it more when it's like a little bit more faded. You can't really tell, but it does make a difference if you want it to look as realistic as possible. Also in this situation, I don't think the moon should be completely white because the sun's setting. It should have a little bit of a warmer color, like an orange or yellow or something. Not too much, but like just to make it show that it's happening during sunset. How I do that is I'm... So what I do for that is I go up here where it says hue saturation and I press it. And this creates an adjustment layer to just edit like the colors of the photo. But what you have to do is when you create this adjustment layer, you have to also right click on it and then press where it says create clipping mask. And that, and that makes it so it only edits the layer right beneath it so the, it'll only edit the moon one. And it won't mess with the colors of the skyline or the clouds. So after you create the clipping mask, you want to click back onto here. So the saturation mask has a great like feature called colorize, which is down here. And basically it just adjusts the moon based on what Photoshop thinks it should look like. So for this picture, I'm just going to hit colorize. And then you can see how the moon got a little more yellow. You really can't tell. You can't see it because the saturation's kind of down. So you just turn up the saturation and then look, it's already turning a little bit more orangey right here. So we don't want it too saturated like that. We just want a little bit of orange. We could turn the saturation down to like 77 or something and then make it a little less light so that the the orange fully overtakes it. And then I'm also gonna make it a little bit more yellow and then there we go. I think that looks really good the way that it is. So I'm gonna keep it like that. And then that's basically it. I like using this technique to give my photos a more dreamlike effect. Um, I think moons work really well with doing that. So hopefully you guys learned how to do this and you can try it out for yourself. It's really not as hard as you would think it is. I think, I think those little tweaks that I made at the end there just to make it look a little bit more realistic is something that a lot of people miss and I wanted to like highlight that just to make sure that everybody knows. Also I wanted to say I'm going to be starting to do videos either every day or every other day. I'm not going to skip two days like I have been previously. I've just been traveling a lot but now that I'm back home I'm going to start to grind out videos again and I hope you guys will enjoy. Leave a like on this video if you would want to see a lot more videos from me. Also subscribe and, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And yeah.
Peace out. Praying, I'm just saying, keep my hands clean off that sin. I've been praying, laying in a bed, I fucked a hundred in. I've been praying, they won't find me laying somewhere in a ditch. Got some best friends that I lost, cause shit I did when I was lit. Cause if I could, I would feel nothing. That's the truth, and I don't care, babe.